Hey everybody, it's Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Hub on Facebook. I want to show you how to use the grid method and the grid being the grids that are on our mats. This is the Scan and Cut custom mat that I make up in scale. It is true to size. When I take it to my Scan and Cut, I no longer have to worry about getting too close to the edge. Okay, so I bring in um, my design, and this is for people that um, may only have a 12 by 12 mat. If you have a 12 by 24, um, you know, you can do something like this on that, but this also works if you have an even larger design. Let's say you have a 3 foot by 4 foot or something like that. You can um, use this technique on a 12 by 24 mat as well. Okay. So let's say I want it bigger than this 12 by 12 mat. Well, I can bring it up here. Actually, let me make a third page. I'll send this to page three. Send to page three for right now. as close to the edge as possible. Oh, that's good enough. Let's see what the width currently is. Okay. Let's bring it out to about 14 inches. That's good enough. And I'm going to bring it down to about there. Okay, so that looks good, but it's hanging over. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come down here to the knife tool. I'm going to click on it. And you can bring this up if you want, but what I'm going to do is you see how my knife tool... Okay, right there. I'm going to put it on. Try to get it on the 11. You know what I mean is right up here, watch the 11 mark. You see that I'll put it right on there just like that. Now I'm clicking my left mouse button and I'm holding and I'm going to drag it down and I'm going to come all the way through. I still have it and then I'm going to release it. Okay? See that color disappeared? That means I have just cut my design apart. Alright? So I'm going to come up here. Now I can grab those two because they've been separated. Now, Page 2 does not have anything on it, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send to layer page 2. Those are going to come in in the exact same spot on page 2 as they were laying on page 1. Watch. See? But I need to bring them over. I'm going to grab this mark because it's going to only move in the horizontal. It won't let me go up, down, or in the diagonal. So I'm just going to move it over just like this and get it safely inside there and then I'm going to release it. Okay? So now I have my design. Let's tweak this little guy a little bit. Maybe I want it a little bit bigger. Maybe not yeah, I think maybe I do want it a little bit longer. I know I want it wider. And longer. Ugh. And with this one, it's kind of easy. How long do I want it? Well, I want to be able to read it, that's for sure. Okay, so I think I'll stop there because what I can do with this, I don't have to cut it. I just come up here to Object. Oh, it is not available. And you know why? Because I saved it. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to have to create a page four. Okay, so I'm going to send this to page four. 
Now page four. Okay. So this is all good and ready to go. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I got to regroup it. Okay. Well, let's go to page four. Remember, I'm going to just drag it right over here. Look at those pretty colors. Isn't that cool? Um, and I need to regroup it as well. Okay, so that's ready. This is ready. That's ready. Okay, but do you see the problem? This, when you go to cut it out of vinyl, it's still going to be attached. So what I do is I'll use a ruler and just cut that straight across there. Okay? Um, with like my uh, rotary cutter. All right, so I'm going to start and I'm going to send it. I'll show you how to do this. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to come up here to File, Export, Computer, and then you'll wait for your stick to come up. Okay, I know that's the name. I got to change it. I got to name it. Double click on it. Okay, and once you see it come up here into this box, come down here, make it an FCM, and then name it. Okay, then come to page two. Export, still up there, come down here, FCM, wing, come to page 3, and then page 4. Okay. Oh, I, you know what? If ever you get that, that means you accidentally just did what I did. Forgot to change it. There. Okay, so now I'm ready and I will go ahead and lay the vinyl out and we'll switch to the camera aspect. So look for part two of the large grid vinyl or uh, material placement. Thanks, guys.